Hey everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Seema and in today's video, I just wanted to show you guys a few amazing stationery items that I've purchased recently in 2021. If you guys haven't seen my last stationery haul, I will link it up here and in the description box. Basically, that was my last stationery haul for the year 2020 and I had made a resolution that I will shop very mindfully in 2021, which is why I don't have a lot of stuff to show you guys. I mean, it's still a lot of stuff for me, but maybe not compared do some other stationery hauls on YouTube, you know. And that is because this time I really thought a lot about whether I wanted to purchase a particular item before I did purchase it. I still want to do even better at reducing my purchases so this is just the start. The very first thing I wanted to show you guys are these notebooks that I got from Factor Notes. I don't have to tell you guys how much I love this brand and this is not sponsored or anything. I just genuinely adore their products so much. The first one is this really pretty mint green cover that says she is magic. The illustration of this lady with the big hair reminds me a lot of the Starbucks mermaid and I don't have to tell you guys about my unhealthy obsession with Starbucks. She has all these planets and constellations in her hair which is such a cool boho vibe. This has to be one of my favorite cover designs. It's an A5 sized journal with a stitched binding and 100 GSM paper which is good enough quality for bullet journaling at least for me. It's got 160 dotted grid pages and rounded corners which I really appreciate. For such good quality, I feel like 199 bucks is a pretty good deal. Now, the actual MRP of these notebooks is 399, but there's a really good sale going on their website, so all of them are for 199 rupees, which is pretty cool. There's also an additional discount code that you can use on their website, so that reduces the price even more, which is even better. After the discount coupon, all of them together cost me rupees 507, which is honestly a steal. If you guys have seen my March plan with me video you will know that I've started bullet journaling again so I just wanted to stock up on the journals while the sale was still on. The next one that I got is a spiral bound notebook which also has a dotted grid. This one is bright yellow with a drawing of a llama on it and line drawings of roses around its head. Unlike the mermaid one this has a smooth and shiny cover no ridges. I'm still trying out different kinds of journals to see whether I'm more comfortable with a stitch binding or a spiral binding. I'm I'm very used to spiral bound journals and notebooks because I have mostly always used spiral bound planners. You can just keep them straight on their back while writing in them. You don't have to hold them down while writing. They won't close if you aren't holding them. But they don't have a continuity to them like stitch binding ones. So I don't know what I like as of right now. So I'm just experimenting with different things. This one is also A5 sized, 160 pages, 100 GSM dotted grid paper and has rounded corners. It was also for 300 bucks but is currently on sale for 199 rupees. The third one is this peach one with the roses on it. I love the colors and the minimalist illustrations on this one. I already had this particular design in another color which is like a mint greenish color which I used for the March bullet journal. You might have seen it in my last stationery haul as well and in the March plan with me video. Personally, I think I'm more partial towards the green one for its color colors but I really like the peach one as well. This one had two options. You can either get it in a dotted grid or plain pages and since I already have the green one in the dotted grid, I chose plain pages for this one so I can use it for other purposes as well and not just bullet journaling. This one also has ridged line texture on the cover and was originally priced at 399 bucks, but is on sale on the website for 199 rupees. The last one I I actually did not order myself. I had only placed an order for three journals and this one kind of just came with them like a free gift because of the code that I used on their website. So I didn't really get to decide the cover of this notebook but it's pretty cute. It's pink with a bicycle on it. It's a B6 size so it's smaller than the other ones and it's got 112 ruled pages with 90 GSM paper. This one is also available separately on their website. The original MRP was 199 bucks but on sale it's just for 120 rupees. Next I purchased this sticker book from Alicia Souza's website. I don't need to tell you guys about my obsession for holding stickers 
Lakers or my love for Alicia Souza's products so I mean obviously I had to buy it I had been eyeing this sticker book for months now ever since she came out with it and I finally gave in and got it this month because I needed to purchase another thing from her website that I will be showing you guys next and if I hadn't purchased this I would have had to pay for the shipping yeah I'm that person who purchases things she doesn't actually need just so she wouldn't have to pay for shipping even though she knows that the shipping cost is much lesser than the cost of the item she's buying to avoid paying for shipping this one also has 12 pages of stickers and costs 4.99 bucks like her previous sticker book. The number of stickers in this one is less though because these stickers are bigger in size. So where the previous sticker book had like about 400 something stickers, this one claims to have only about 250 but they are obviously bigger in size. As you can see in the sticker book, she has experimented with different kinds of designs like this page of school supply stickers is very different from her usual designs both in terms of the illustrations as well as the texture of the colors which look like they've been colored in with the crayon. And then the last three pages are all stickers that you can color in yourself. So if you can see the surface of the paper is very different from the previous ones. The previous ones are all glossy stickers and this one is like rougher like your regular paper so you can color on it. Honestly, I don't know how I feel about having three pages of colored in stickers. I feel like one would have been good enough because the whole point of using stickers is to make stuff look colorful and if I have to take that effort myself anyway, then you know, I might as well use a clear stamp or draw the illustration myself. In fact, the stickers that you see on this particular page are supposed to be clear stamps. They made so much more sense as clear stamps because they were the perfect size and you can actually use them multiple times and even color them in yourself. Personally, if I have to make a comparison, I prefer her first sticker book over the new one because the size of the stickers on that one was much smaller and didn't take up too much space on my planner. They're the perfect size and you technically get more number of stickers with practically more useful designs on it. At the end of the day, I absolutely love Alicia Souza's illustrations. I have been a fan of her work since a few years now. So if she comes out with a third sticker book, will I buy it? Absolutely hell yes. But I might not repurchase this particular one, rather choose to buy the first one. The next thing I got from Alicia Souza's website, which is actually why I ended up buying the sticker book, was this book stamp. For years now, I've been wanting to organize my books and make a record of all the books that I own. I'm very, very possessive of all my books and I absolutely hate it when I lend them to people and they don't return it. It pisses me off so much. It's a big, big pet peeve of mine. You can clearly see from my shopping habits that my bank balance is pretty sad most of the time. So when I die, the only treasure that I'll be leaving behind are my books. I'm super, super proud of all the books that I own. So I just wanted to create my own little library. Also, one of the biggest reasons that people don't remember to return your books is they don't know that they borrowed them from you. So if I have a stamp with my name on them, like a library, then they are maybe, you know, more likely to give them back. If you didn't know this already, all of the stamps on Alicia Souza's websites are so so pretty. I wish I could own all of them honestly, they are so well made. I also love the fact that they are locally made so that makes them even more charming. I know I don't have the best handwriting so that's a bummer but I still think this looks really good. I can't wait to stamp all of my books and make a proper digital record of them so that I never lose them again. Like I said, the stamp is very sturdy and of very good quality. The one that I got came in this cute cloth pouch. It costs 4.99 rupees, which is kind of expensive, but because it is locally manufactured and because the quality is so great, I don't mind paying that much. Next, we again have another product that I've been eyeing forever on Amazon. It's the Pipsticks and Workman So Many Stickers sticker book. This has been in my cart since August or September last year. The only reason I didn't buy it was 
was because I already purchased two copies of their other sticker book, the So Many Planner stickers one. You guys have seen it in all of my Plan With Me videos now and I also have a separate review and flip through of it which I will link here and in the description box. Inside we've got stickers of a whole page of categories like sunglasses, rainy clouds and rainbows, butterflies, socks, roller skates and disco balls junk food, potted plants, very retro vintage looking phones, cats, celestial bodies, lips and like chat icons these are one of the only weird ones in here but they're still quirky so i'm sure i can find a use for them hedgehogs school supplies shoes fruits Again, very retro music players, there's vinyl discs and vinyl players, cassettes, boombox and headphones, flowers, nail polishes and manicured hands, birthday cakes, backpacks. crystals, retro cars and scooters, slogan words, sushi, travel bags, Tropical vacation stuff like swimsuits, airplanes, palm trees and leaves. Seashells. Slots. Coffee mugs. Hot air balloons. Chocolates, cacti and succulents, dogs, ice, which again is a bit weird, but okay, cold drinks, buildings. Mushrooms, hot dogs, hamburgers, barbecue, and picnic baskets, gifts, crowns, makeup. Llamas or alpacas, I can't really tell the difference between the two different boxes. Vegetables, skateboards, surfboards and cycles, hearts of different shapes and sizes, dinosaurs, Vintage cameras, weather, robots, and books. The 
next purchase is again something that I've been meaning to buy for months now and it had been added to my cart on Amazon for the longest time. It's this 5 year question and answer journal by this brand called Potter Gift. The format is like all other 5 year journals which is basically that you have to answer the same question on the same day for 5 years and you kind of get to see your growth or your state of mind in terms of how different your answers are on the same day every year. It's an amazing concept really. It's really small and petite, pretty much the size of my palm. So it's very travel friendly. You can carry it with you wherever you go so that you don't miss the days in it. Inside the journal, you have space to write your name and then it has one question for every day of the year and five empty slots to fill in the year and write your answer. You're going to have to write really small and concise considering it's a pretty small journal. There's not a lot of space to write like a whole essay in here, but I feel like it's good enough space to write a line or two. The next two items on this haul are not exactly stationary items, so they're not officially on the list. The first one is this book stand that I got from Amazon to organize all of my notebooks and planners and sticker books that I use most often. I don't like stacking my planners one on top of the other because they tend to look messy and I don't like keeping them inside because I need to access them like all the time. And this book stand is perfect for that. I got this from Amazon. I think this was for 499 rupees the next and the last thing in the haul are these oracle cards. If you guys have seen some of my videos, you know that I love tarot cards and oracle cards. These ones specifically are amazing because they are based on female writers and authors. So I've been eyeing these forever and I cannot wait to try them and do some readings on these. Inside the box, you have the guidebook and the deck itself. As someone who is very new to the concept of oracle card reading, I would have wanted the guidebook to be more informative but as you can see there's not a lot of content in it about the meaning behind each card but what I do really love is all the authors in here they are some of my favorite authors and poets we have Virginia Woolf who is of course a queen Sylvia Plath who is another queen Emily Bronte, Toni Morrison, Octavia Butler, Shirley Jackson all of these amazing female writers reimagined as witches which is so cool because I can not resist a powerful feminist reclaim your femininity kind of witchy vibe i absolutely love it so it's a deck of 70 cards out of which i think you have 30 authors as witches and the rest of the cards are like witchy materials so you have stuff like cat a cauldron a wolf you know stuff like that i got the deck from amazon for 940 rupees which is not a bad deal i guess i will link the product in the description box below the illustrations on it are beautiful the quality of cards is really good my only problem with this deck like i mentioned is that there's very little information about the cards in the guidebook so it's going to be kind of hard to use them as of right now, this is all I have for you guys. Let me know what was your favorite item from the haul in the comments down below. And if you guys enjoyed this video or found it useful, then please give it a like and subscribe to the channel for more such videos. I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.